We don't know who is going to be the new Minister of Finance. But it can't be Andrew Holness. Because he can't be the minister of a ministry that is, has agencies that are investigating him. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And so yesterday we seen where the doctors were wearing black yesterday to highlight their frustration with the infrastructural challenges faced within the health sector. And the Jamaica Medical Doctors Association has noted that the infrastructural challenges faced by the Bustamante Hospital for Children are not unique to that facility. And we're seeing the president of the Jamaica Medical Doctor Association, Dr. Badro. And I usually work with this doctor on fourth floor at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital. And she's a very good doctor, a doctor who, you know, advocates for patients and basically works very well. And I just want to say shout out to Dr. Badro. Midwife Rosie are sending shout out to you. And a few other doctors who worked well. Big up Dr. Bennett, big up Dr. Wellington, big up Dr. Mayer and a few others. The situation at Bustamante is unfortunate. And it's sad to say that it's actually not unique to Bustamante Hospital. The JMD has on multiple occasions reported to the Ministry of Health and Wellness through verbal and written communication about the widespread infrastructural and maintenance challenges and problems within the health sector. These problems affect the patients we are tasked to serve. When the provisions are not made, how can we serve our patients effectively? The ministry has been very slow to respond to a lot of the issues that we have presented to them. And basically come out and I make know what my people say it's going on over other healthcare facilities. However, Dr. Barrow said, despite numerous letters and persistent efforts from the JMDA to engage the ministry, there has been limited response to some of these critical issues impacting both the healthcare workers and the quality of patient care. She also added that the JMDA stands in solidarity with hardworking doctors at the Bustamante Hospital for Children who continue to serve the nation and Caribbean tirelessly. In the meantime, she urged the ministry to take immediate action to resolve these ongoing widespread infrastructural challenges, noting that the association also stands ready to work with the ministry. So when we see doctors from overseas asking the Ministry of Health to sort out an AC at the Bustamante Hospital for children to accommodate them in doing surgeries, you know, medical mission surgeries that are free, right? And same not done. Then we have to just call a spade a spade. And this is not only one instance, my people. And then we see the minister coming out, throwing blame at the system, defects in the system, and he's a part of the system. So my people, only make me know what I think about this part. We see the president of the Jamaica Medical Doctors Association coming out in support of the doctors to say that the maintenance aspect of the health system is not their responsibility and i agree anyhow moving right along my people so when you know my people last night was the jamaica labor party's era council meeting somewhere there in pembroke hall and it is said that mp juliet cuthburn flynn took the stage and she was basically reminding bunting that it was not a pit bull but a pretty poodle that sent him packing from central Manchester. So, a uh, really Rhoda Crawford she called pretty poodle. Also, my people, we seen where Mark Golden was at the Brownstone College and he was giving his presentation in the candidate presentation of Gabriella Morris. And he was basically asking in the government, when are they going to announce who will be the successor of Nigel? Clark. Three days before the Minister of Finance 
is to leave office. He announced it in August. All now, we don't know who is going to be the new Minister of Finance. But it can't be Andrew Holness. Because he can't be the minister of a ministry that is, has agencies that are investigating him. That would be a clear conflict of interest and totally untenable. And we want to hear this long overdue and important information because obviously finance is a critical ministry. Anyways, Nationwide News put it up my people and said Golden criticizes government for delay in naming new finance minister. Here we Anne Marie Vashi commented under the same post number people. Anna Yo so hush. Hashtag chaka chaka. Smadiels agreed with her and said, Woy, chaka chaka indeed. Another commenter said, Anne Vaz, wow. I would expect this comment from a child, not a member of parliament. It is not unreasonable to expect that the new finance minister would have been announced by now. It is within the practice of good governance. The government is not beyond reproach. And at that, me always see them behave people. Like the government that we can't question, then we can't ask no question, we can't get no answers, so to speak, you know? Any well thinking Jamaican would want to know that a ministry as important as the finance ministry, a successor would be named already because we have a departing minister of finance who is heading to IMF. So, three days shy, and not even three days now, two days shy, the man departs on the 31st of October. Why can't we get an announcement to say who is the new finance minister? This is not Chaka Chaka. Him asking a valid question. That needs a valid answer. Nothing like this where you come with. And them, them people them have a represent them. Hmm? And them your people that we want to represent where we can't ask nothing. It's, even though it's not the opposition leader, it certainly cannot be Prime Minister Andrew Owens. That's all I have to say upon this. Anyways, my people, we've seen Audrey Dixon, a representative of the People's National Party, who gave a powerful tribute at a funeral to Mama Gwen, who is the mother of the whole Coco Peace Massacre. You remember that young lady and her four kids that the cousin, you know, dirted? This mother now lost her husband. <laughs> mother now lost her husband and so it's never easy losing a family member remember she just uh, come out uh, you know one weird very same cousin dirted her daughter and four grandchildren to her brother passing away now to her husband now the people so you know condolences goes out to her it's never easy you know road to you know through grief but at the end of the day you know they said time heal all you know, I too lost my father and to this day, it's all the way up in February and to this day, my people, I'm still grieving. So, you know, there's no time limit on grief. And so, you know, may the Lord comfort her in her time of grief. The people, talk up and tell me what you think about everything that was said in this video. Like up the video, share out the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Big up to the returning subscribers, big up to the new subscribers. Welcome on board. Get this video to at least 3,000 likes, my people.
Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more updates. Big up on yourself.